I began American bully breeding probably, I guess, it's probably about eight years ago. Um, doing the bully breeding. Now, I've been doing breeding probably now in the dogs probably most of my life. Uh, with the, starting out with the American pit bulls, um, but the American bullies I've been doing for about eight years now. My first dog, um, her name was Bianca when I started the bully breeding. Um, purchased her out of Salisbury, North Carolina, and um, I had another dog that I had by the name of uh, Kalja, uh, which I had heard from a pup that I had gotten from a kennel partner of mine uh, when I first started out. But I started out with those two females doing the American Bully Breed. I don't do, per se, a lot of training training. I do tra basic commands such as sit, you know, uh, they go fetch a ball, um, those type of things. The training that I do in the ring, I, I haven't shown a lot of dogs. I've shown some previously when I first started out, but I, don't, I haven't shown a lot here in the last probably two years. Um, but when I was doing that, it was just repetition, like putting your dog on the lead. I walk them every day. Um, when I do walk them, I try to like train them to be around certain crowds of people like going into town where I got cars and traffic and a lot of people and, and, and just having commands to like stop when I stop, you know, that sort of thing. Because in the ring, you know, at those shows, you got a lot of people, commotion, what's going on. So I think that the biggest thing is training these dogs is being able to socialize them in venues that is chaotic. Um, a lot of stuff going on, but your dog is still at tension with you. Um, I've always liked dogs. Um, so. Even if I didn't like go to shows or do anything, I probably would always have a dog like this um, just because I like the dogs. Um, I think what motivates me to continue to do it is just how they, you know, sometimes this has always been my outlet. You know, when I'm come from work, this has been a, a, a good de-stressor for me at work is having my dog. So, so for motivation for me, it's not really motivation. It, it's kind of, the dogs help me really um, like I said, if I'm stressed at work or something like that, I can come home, get outside with the dogs, kind of de-stress. So really the dogs are more, more helpful to me than, than I probably are to them. So, so my motivation is just, just the love of the dog. The love of the breed um, is what motivates me to, to, to be in this, you know, the food with the dogs, to have the dogs here. So it, it's just love of the, of the breed. The experience, I mean, it's tough. I think sometimes people see the, 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 they see the puppy, the cute puppy, and then, you know, you, you see the dog once it's grown. But I think the process from that is if you have litters of puppies, it is work. Um, mom does a lot of the work, but, but, you know, if you have a mom sometimes that has the milk, didn't have milk, you might have to bottle feed these puppies. You may have to sit up all hours of the night, just like having a newborn baby. You know, sometimes it, it, it can be very overwhelming, very tiring. So I think the experience is it can be very difficult, but it's also rewarding um, to see like how you can take a dog of this bloodline and take another dog of this bloodline and put them together to create a, 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 a look for, for what you are anticipating. I think that's that's the experience that you get to see. Um, but it is, it, it is a lot of work. So, so from, from raising it from a puppy to, to maturity, sometimes you run into, uh, you know, dogs that come, you know, they may have things you have to take to the vet um, for. I think to, for people to view me as a dog owner, I would want people to see me as a responsible dog owner. Um, I tend to think that this, this breed of dogs gets a bad rap. Um, I think people will say, you know, this, that, that's a, a pit bull, that's a, that's a, American bully, and some people don't know the difference. Um, but the same, they, they look at it all the same to say that those are mean dogs. The dogs are not mean. Um, the dogs, uh, just like any other dog, I think they is how you raise them. I want people to see me as a good, responsible breeder um, when I'm out in public with my dogs. You know, my dogs 
don't jump on people. My dogs don't, don't, um, you know, growl and, and, and I socialize my dogs as much as I can with people, like take them to, to Lowe's, take them to Track Supply, take them to any venue, parks, um, as much as I can to socialize them so that when they're out and people see those dogs that, you know, people, anybody can just come up and pet them. And that's what I want people to, to see me as a, a dog breeder, a responsible dog breeder that, um, in that sense. The other side of that is I want people to see me as a dog breeder who is able to breed confirmation, you know, well-mannered, you know, structural dogs um, that can move, that can run. Um, and I think that's one of the things with the bully, bully dogs is you see different phases. You got the exotic, you got standards, you got excels, you know, all different classes. But I, I want people to see me as a breeder who breeds very well put together puppies and that, that can go into other homes where they have kids or, or not kids. They can, they want to keep them in the house, they can. But what I want to see people, I want people to view me as a breeder that is responsible and also a breeder that, that can produce well structured dogs um, that anybody can own.